Hi, I'm David Clements. I'm the Senior Director at Dynamic Worldwide West. Uh, we are a 3PL facility. We have uh, many distribution centers across the country. We consolidate freight, we do transportation for customers, and uh, we do pick pack. To start with, our trailers come into our inbound guard booth. They surrender all of the vendors' bill of ladings, all the paperwork to the guard, and the guard gives the driver a GPS tag. The tag is placed onto the trailer. The trailer is assigned a location, a zone to drop, and that's based on whether it's a load to be consolidated or a pick pack load. Our zone two area, which is the area right in front of receiving, is primarily for our consolidation loads. So as a visual check, we could walk outside on the receiving dock and see all the trailers left to be processed for the day. Inside the building, we can actually see on our computer system where all the trailers are. In fact, the computer program shows us a color and that states the aging of the trailer. So we know how long a trailer's been sitting there based on the color, just as a visual check. Any kind of yard moves that we want are conducted inside the building. We tell the system, move trailer ABC to location, door, such and such, and it goes out to the yard go switcher, that, that command. So basically all they're doing is they're satisfying those commands and moving the trailer from point A to point B, finishing the task, and then it's updated in our system. Every two lines merge into one as they go up into the mezzanine. We get up to the mezzanine part, the three lanes that are now running the, the length of the mezzanine, so they all induct in this, into the tilt tray sorter. Cartons move through the buildings so fast that the doors are always changing. On an average eight hour shift processing on average 35,000 cartons and that's with 30 full-time people. My capacity is on a normal eight hour, two eight hour days, I, I run about 70,000 cartons with, without any, any issues. Some of the things that we really like about the sorter is it's very simple to use. We picked up on it very quickly, we got it operational very quickly. Kind of tells us if, if any issues that we have with the sorter, it actually shows us on the screen where to go and what to do with it. Once they are on to the sorter, they run across a scanner and at that point they're capturing every barcode and identifying which outbound lane to the destination is assigned to. So as they go around the building up into the sorter, they go to the other side and then they start to tip to the assigned down lane. One of the advantages of the tilt tray sorter was we can actually process many different things. Do anything from neckties, socks, vacuum cleaners, microwaves, bedding, pillows, comforters. It's such a big array of different size boxes. You can see that the small six inch box all the way up to boxes that are probably 45 inches long that the sorter actually can accommodate. So it allows us some flexibility on doing different things at the same time. We were partners with uh, SDI, who um, actually did the design and implementation of the sortation system. It was a wonderful project. Uh, we really enjoyed working with the guys. They were easy to work with. And the shipping side, the guys in shipping, they're cubing out every trailer as best as they can. So as the cartons are coming down the lane, they're trying to stack them high and tight in each trailer. Looking at the shipping units, these Calion units are actually extend all the way to the nose of the trailer. When it gets to the very edge of the unit, there's a photo eye that actually stops the carton. As soon as they lift the carton off, the next carton advances to them. They pick up that carton and, and, and so on and so forth. In conclusion, I hope you enjoyed the footage of the Dynamic Worldwide West sortation system here in Santa Fe Springs, California. Looking towards the future with a partnership with SDI.